Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Reading Cell. Please keep in mind that this is a reading. I don't want to resonate for everyone. Okay, for Libra, please. Please bear a message for Libra's love situation. Please bear for Libra. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. I think I got this Page of Swords for all air signs, right? Spying, so stalker alert here. Someone who is spying on you. Could go vice versa. Could be both of you, okay? But this is definitely someone who's spying on you. Someone who's trying to gain information about you. Someone who still has a focus on you. So let's see for the present situation. We have the ace of cups that's why they're spying they want a brand new beginning in love with you someone who still has emotions but that's the page of swords very sneaky card not telling you anything about it right so you know the page of swords never tells the whole truth so they're not telling you how they truly feel why is the ace of cups here the five of cups okay so there's something that someone here regrets someone feels disappointed so there's there's distance okay i'm getting someone chose another situation away from this connection someone chose another direction away from this connection and there's a lot of regret about it someone feels like they missed you know this opportunity in love in the past so maybe it was already offered in the past and they missed it right now they're feeling at a loss because, I mean, someone does have a lot of love for you here. This is someone here who's very disappointed, right, in their behavior, their actions. They, f they feel like they chose the wrong path here. There's a lot of regret. There's a lot of sadness. Yeah, a lot of sadness here. Why is the Five of Cups here? the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces yeah this is you right could also be you you're very disappointed right because you gave this person a lot of love i could yeah i see this five of cups as being both of you okay you could be mirroring one another but one thing is that you gave this to them right you were open to this love you were not afraid right to show your emotions to be vulnerable in this connection but i don't think maybe your person you know gave you the same thing in return and so they could have a lot of regret about it and you could be very disappointed right how things turned out let's see for the blocker potential the higher fan there's a lot of potential here yeah i think someone gained wisdom about the ace of cups Someone who did not see this at the time, I mean, it's in their face now, right? They've gained a lot of wisdom, knowledge, awareness, some sort of awareness here that they could have, you know, missed this in the past. Could be there with the Taurus. So, Queen of Cups, you were very good to this person, right? Very loving. Why is the Hierophant? The Wheel of Fortune. Someone's change here. Someone's things to change someone wants to get out of this five of cups energy they don't want like to be in this regret here they want to go for this right yeah they want to go for it they, they, they're getting on that wheel here and it's like no i'm going for another opportunity here with libra why is the wheel of fortune here the five of cups yeah someone sorry five of pentacles so there's a big if someone feels definitely at a loss the distance is you know they're really not doing well with the distance the disappointment the regret it's like it's weighing heavily on this person here and they want out of it it's like they want things to move they want to end the distance they want to end the stagnation they, they don't want to feel like they missed an opportunity this they, they want to go for it right so in divine timing okay obviously with that wheel of fortune let's see for the recent past 
the hangman. Yeah, someone's very passive in this connection here, right? Someone's not participating, right, in the connection. Someone's going with the flow. And because you come across as someone who's very loving and devoted, they thought that you would always be there for them, right? They thought they had nothing to do. Definitely there was an imbalance, right? Five of Pentacles. You could have felt rejected. They rejected your offer of love. And there was no reciprocity here. It was very one-sided. So let's see for the hangman. The queen of swords, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting something here. So you could have, this is definitely you here. Now, you could have switched energies, right? You felt like rejected. You felt like there was no reciprocity. And you could have said, well, why, you know, you're going with the flow. You're not doing anything. Why should I keep on giving and giving and giving? So you could have stopped giving to this person, okay? Yeah. You could have, this imbalance, right? It's because also you, you know, went cold on this person. You could have given the other person the silent treatment. You could have detached you could have said i'm not gonna give any more of this my energy here right to you because there's no equal give and take i'm the only one giving giving and you're taking and you know taking you for granted here this is definitely someone who could have taken you for granted always thinking that you would always be there for them and then it's like you went cold you detached you're like no right and so with this five of cups, right, they miss, they miss you, but they miss your energy here. They miss when you were this queen of cups, right, when you were very good, very giving, very loving, okay? They might have a hard time with this energy here. Yeah, I think they miss you, the the energy of you know you being very loving to because now you could have detached with this queen of swords but they also missed this connection right why is the queen of swords here the empress yeah i mean you were so giving to this person you gave a lot but then you said no that's enough right that's enough here they were being very passive and taking you for granted right whatever you were giving you were giving your all and so you you shifted energies here so let's see for the so libra this is your card the empress so for the focus in the world so new beginnings definitely someone here wants a new beginning here there's that distant distance someone here has feels like there's unfinished business someone misses you so it feels like, you know, yeah, they were really not giving you anything in the past. Why is the world here? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone here definitely, I mean, they might want to end this Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone's very closed off here. See how closed off? They were, I think they have a lot of regret here for being in this energy of being very closed off. So the world, okay, it talks about endings and new beginnings. I think that, yeah, someone here wants to end this eight of swords being emotionally distant, emotionally detached, right? Not giving you anything, being very closed off, not being vulnerable in this connection, right? And with a new beginning, the world wanting a new beginning, and now it's like this is what they want this in this new beginning. They want a new, they want to like, you know, do it right here, right? They want to like redeem themselves, okay? And now give you this ace of cups. Now they want commitment, okay? Yeah, they don't want to be stuck in this energy anymore with the Eight of Swords because there's there's a lot of regret. Yeah, I think someone really regrets. And with that Wheel of Fortune, it's like they want to move. They want to end this Eight of Swords and get things going here. Yeah, towards something positive. I think some sort of cycle, right? 
of being closed off, going with the flow, not giving anything here. So it's very, very like selfish here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The King of Cups. Yeah. New beginnings. That's what it is here. Someone wants to end this Eight of Swords energy nonsense, right? And now it's like they're gonna give you they want to give you the same thing, right? If they want to see you in this Queen of Cups energy again, it's like, well, they have to be a King of Cups for you, right? They have to give you the same thing. They have to show you love as well and be loving and be vulnerable and open up to this connection. Yeah. So someone clearly wants to, you know, stop being closed off here and wants to give you the same thing, right? Stop being sneaky and and because they, they definitely feel like they have there's unfinished business. They they still have a focus on you. They're still spying on you. They're still interested in you and this connection. So let's see for the near future. The seven of swords. Wow. So someone was very sneaky here. Very closed off, right? I mean, very selfish. Yeah. I think it was all about themselves here, right? Not considering your feelings here. And so you could have taught them a lesson here with this queen of swords. You, you could have taught them a lesson. It's like, I'm not giving you any more of my energy, right? If you're not giving me nothing in return. Let's say for the seven of swords, the six of cups. So yeah, someone got away, okay? Someone got away from this connection here. Someone just left. And you could have went cold on this person because of that. Someone just left and not say anything. But then again, right? Six of Cups. They still have a focus on this. They were sneaky. They thought they would get away. and But they're still, they still have a focus. Even though they left... They could have kept you hanging, right, and not say anything because they're so closed off. You didn't have the clarity. You didn't know where this person was going, why this person was doing what it is that they were doing. You could have been very confused and very disappointed here. But that's the thing. They left, but now what are they doing? They're spying on you. They're reminiscing about you. They still have a very high focus on this connection. They thought that you were actually very good to them. This person feels like it was a very good connection. Now, they feel still very connected to you, okay? Soul connection here. They might feel now that you're their soulmate. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Three of Wands. And now it's like they left. But now they're waiting for the right time to ask you for reconciliation here. They're waiting for the right time here. They're waiting to you know start of work on themselves right work on their heart space here right their heart chakra their heart chakra is very closed here and so they need to open up their heart chakras right they need to work on their themselves here so that they could start also showing you love here let's see for the what you should know the four swords <clears throat> what should they do heal right that's how you work on your heart chakra you heal here so they're taking a step back this is also the card of you know the pause i always say that in my readings the pause before action when i see that four swords because they're like right now they're like they took a step back from this seven of swords energy because i mean they're still focusing on this connection here and they still want to come back to this connection. But they're not, they can't come back with the same type, same type of energy, right? They need to come as the King of Cups. They, still, they, they need to have to show you emotions here. If they want for you to open up as well to them. So right now, you could also be healing, right? After what this person did to you. But I'm getting this as your person. Taking that step back, right? To heal. To, to, uh that's why there's that waiting period okay to figure things out here how to move forward how to get you back after leaving without saying anything possibly why is the four of swords why is the four of swords in the page of cups there's that apology here yeah someone's working on an apology here they want to get back to you yeah they want to reconcile 
So Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And they want to start showing emotions, right? They want to open up, right? This person is very closed off emotionally here. Very mature, emotionally mature, right? Emotionally distant. Now they want to start showing emotions here, right? That's what they're, you know, they're trying to figure out, you know. That's what they need to do. That's what they're trying to to understand. And that's what they're going to come to a conclusion that they need to open up emotionally here why is the page of cups here they miss you right the two of swords yeah it's like enough of this that's what what it is like make a decision here so look at this waiting period with someone's very closed off very closed off here two of swords eight of swords seven of swords wow five of pentacles no reciprocity sounds very detached here so I think someone here, right, wants to make a decision here to come towards you with emotions here. Let's see for the for the outcome. <laughs> is this clear, right? Yeah, that's what it is. It's like there's a cup of love for you. They're going to start. It's not just telling you. I mean, now they want to shower you with love, right? It's like I'm going to tell you. I'm going to express it. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you, you know, how I feel. This is like, they want to tell you how they feel about you face to face, right? Not just because the Page of Cups could talk about a message, but the Knight of Cups is actually moving towards you, right? So that they could show you that they love you. So why is the Knight of Cups here? The Queen of Wands, Aries, or Sagittarius. Could be your person. I'm getting this as you. The Queen of Wands, like very confident, very attractive. You're looking very good. That's why they're spying. But you see, now you are in your power, right? Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. You've got it, right? They know it. You've got your own thing here. See how they're coming towards you? You're looking the other way. You could also be in this Four of Swords energy. It's like, well, after what you did to me, let me think about it. Let me also reconsider, right? Let me take my time to, you know, think about things here. So you're not, may not be telling them, you know, straightforward what it is also, you know, what their, your decision is going to be. You may, you know, also try to take that step back, right, to think about things because you're looking the other way, right? You are in your power. They know it. Yeah, they're seeing it in a very different way now. And when there's that king, queen of wands, like they feel a very strong attraction towards you. They laughed, right? They were sneaky about it. But then, page of swords, six of cups, five of cups, missing you, reminiscing about the, you know, so you could have been very, you know, with that empress here, very good to this person. Very, very good. And so they're seeing a very different way now. Why is the queen of wands here? the page of wands so what are they going to do so they're going to be creative here they're they really want to get your attention here they have a high focus on you a strong focus the page of wands you're in their focus big time page of swords page of wands page of wands also card of spying for me it's like all their attention all their focus all of their energy is on you and they want to shower you with love here but you're looking the other way you're not so sure right you have boundaries now you know what you want you know what this person did to you and so page of wands it's a card of creativity it's a card of like trying to figure out right how to approach you that you can accept their offer of love here they really want your attention they seem to really want for you to accept this offer so they're going to try to find creative ways here to get your attention. So that's up to you, right, uh, Libra, if you, you know, want to take this offer or not. You have, you are in your power. So that's it. So I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed our reading. Take care.